This artefact was produced by a team from the Nilambic Numeracy Network consisting of six teachers from five schools, both primary and secondary. The schools involved included Eltham East, Sherborne, Diamond Creek East and Eltham North Primary Schools and Montmorency Secondary College. The focus of the project was to develop teacher capabilities using the E5 model and rich learning tasks. Ultimately, the aim was to increase student learning through improved teacher practice. Aha! Here's what I'm looking for. Let's see what's inside. OK, this is the page. Now for the ingredients. Blend a rich task with an E5 teacher. Get to know E5, its domains, capabilities and its levels of proficiency. Then let it set to offer guidance to high quality professional instruction. Jenny will now explain the steps we need to consider. Step 1 become familiar with E5. Yes, and by doing this it will allow you to gain common language and provide a framework to guide professional conversations of what high quality instruction looks and sounds like. Step two. After agreeing to essential ingredients of a rich task, conduct peer observations with the main focus being to collect evidence to support your selection of specific rich tasks. This should be done so that everyone can feel comfortable with having other people observe them. The learning that takes place empowers teachers to understand that the teacher is the important component of the lesson, not the task. You can have a good task and the teacher can break it, or you can have an ordinary task and the teacher can make it. Step 3. Individuals self-evaluate against E5 teacher capabilities. This enables teachers to self-reflect and identify own strengths and areas for improvements. This provides teachers with the guidance needed to develop their own plan to further improve their teaching practice. Step 4. Now blend teacher understandings with the next ingredient, a second round of peer observations focusing on the teacher capability that they have identified as needing improvement. This will narrow individual teachers' focus to one capability, allowing for targeted understanding of what that capability looks and sounds like. The development of individual performers will aid this process. After each session, mix in professional dialogue, enabling learning to be shared between peer buddies. This allows for deeper reflection and discussion by using the evidence from the lesson. Step 5. Create a learning environment where the teacher poses questions that lead students to investigate. Once the teacher has determined the student's readiness for learning, rich tasks will prompt inquiry cultivate higher order thinking and substantive conversation. These tasks require a student to think more deeply and give a response which involves more than recalling a fact or reproducing a skill. Leading questions used should not alter the learning focus of the lesson. And voila, here is the finished product. Now let's listen to what students have to say. I like about maths when it is challenging because it makes me think harder. I like maths when you go outside and learn and investigate things. In maths, I know I've improved a lot from last year and I and know I'm getting way better at it. I learn by practicing and trying different strategies. I like maths because I learn so much and it makes me happy because I love challenges which are fun. I also learn best when we have new things to do in maths. I like maths because every day is a new challenge with more exciting things to do. I like a good challenge and don't give up even if it is almost impossible. I think doing maths is important because it is a skill that everyone needs to learn because when you're an adult, most jobs or when you're even going out shopping include things you have to do with maths. Like I like maths because of all the activities that we do. It is fun to do the activities because they help you learn more than what it would be doing some worksheets. I enjoy working with a partner in maths because when you've got a tricky thing you can talk about it. 